at the risk of making this go way, way longer than it needs to, let's just run through quickly what devices we use to stream. So um, I'm going to do mine fast because I think it is yeah. fast. And then you can talk about the variety that you have there. Um, first of all, for TV streaming, it's Apple TV. Uh, Wyatt's got one that he took with him. We have one on both of the TVs in the house. Um, my mom and my grandma have on their main TV, they have an Apple TV, but then we ended up giving them fire sticks or Amazon sticks, whatever yes. they were to go on their smaller TVs. Um, I don't personally use them. We did that for them cause they were cheap and they only needed them for the stuff that was there. Right. They didn't need it for right. the movie catalog, that other kind of stuff that you need the Apple TV for. So when it yeah. comes to TV, that's how I stream. How about you? Yeah. So it all depends on the quality that I'm watching. So you, you're right. I've used a variety of devices. At the bottom of my list would be those Fire Sticks, right? They work. They stream a good HD kind of standard quality video. Um, they do buffer pretty good, pretty decently. But um, yeah, that first, that entry-level Fire Stick is probably the worst. No, I take that back. A Roku. <laughs> those yeah. Roku sticks were like a knockoff a Fire Stick. Not a knockoff because they're their own service, but that is absolutely the worst device that you can be buying is a Roku. Hey, let me Next ask you this. The... Let me pause on that. So mm -hmm. most TVs nowadays, and a lot of them are Roku, most right. TVs come internet connected. So in theory, you don't need right. any sort of streaming device. Do you, you connect don't. your Especially TVs to the new... internet at all? So I do. So and, and that's another thing. When I say depending on the content that I'm watching, if I'm going to watch a few YouTube videos and stuff like that, then yes, the the um, the TV, the apps built into the TV, whether it's TVOS or like you say, Roku, Google TV, those will work fine, right? But when you start getting into the HD content and all of that, the wireless radio that they put in those are just a basic, you know, whatever the cheapest Wi-Fi right. radio that they can find. So the bandwidth on those things are not the, the uh, throughput are, are not great, right? So when you start wanting to stream some 4K, some really HD, some HDR content like that, like I told you, those walking videos that I watch, those are all 4K HDR, uh, the high dynamic range with all of the colors and the, like I said, you can see the dirt on the street and stuff. It's not really good for that. So that's why I have my my Xbox, my Series X that that you know it connects to the 4K port. It streams like like perfectly. So I have some more powerful boxes along with the Apple TV too. Okay. So depending on the, the level of content that you want to enjoy, if you're just going to watch some cat videos, the Fire Stick is fine, right? You're going to watch some standard definition videos that are streaming on, on Amazon Prime. The Fire Stick is a good choice, right? They're inexpensive. I believe they were 17 bucks this past Friday, you know, Black Friday and, and uh, Cyber Monday. So don't let me discourage you from that. That is a really good choice, right? But if you really want to get into on Amazon Prime, you know, you watch some of these old James Bond. I'm a real big James Bond fan. Some of those videos, they have a 4K version of that. Not going to look as good as it looks streaming through a more powerful set-top box like an Apple TV or a um, Xbox or PlayStation or something like that. So depending on the type of qu uh, uh, quality you want to get out of it, you know, like we always say, you get what you pay for. Yeah. Are you using out in the shop? Or are you just using the TV itself because you're basically just watching YouTube or? No, I have my Apple TV. Okay. And remember I told you because of the doorbell too, when, when we oh, get yeah, deliveries yeah, yeah, yeah. and shipments, uh, it Got pops it. up on the screen uh, no matter what I'm watching, whether it's YouTube or the podcast app or listening to music or something like that. Um, that's uh, uh, that's the main reason why I switched. Okay. But I had a fire stick out there at first and the, the connection and the bandwidth and the buffering yeah. and all that, because that's the farthest away from the from the router as as you can get. It's basically at the back fence line of a, of my property, yeah. and uh, yeah, I had to upgrade it to the Apple TV, okay. and it's been great. And see, I don't let my TVs touch the internet. I just don't trust the security right. on them. So, um, but again, you've got a little better network set up and all that kind of stuff. I want just plug and play, and so I have to have a device. Right connected to a TV and you know, it's just for me because I buy everything at, through Apple. All my services are through Apple. It's just, yeah, it's just so much easier. So yeah. what about uh non TV? Do you stream on any of the other devices that you have? I mean, you talked about you use your Xbox and to stream to the TV, but what about tablets mm -hmm. or phones? How much streaming do you do on those? 
right? So, uh, so of course, when I'm using my, and, and uh, it's funny because I tell my wife, like I'll use my iPad like a VCR, right? I'm taking it with us on the cruise or whatever. And I load a bunch of the shows that we watch on it. And I just connect my HDMI uh, uh, hub to the TV on the cruise ship or in the hotel or wherever, like when we travel to Oklahoma and stuff. So yeah, I, I, um, I do store, but we're not streaming anything. I store it locally on okay. the, uh, on the device. So Netflix has that great where you can download shows and stuff like that. Uh, we have, it, it's getting older now, a lot of older stuff. Cause I hadn't been purchasing movies and stuff. We used to go on black Friday, you know, you purchase a movie and you get the digital version. We hadn't done that in a couple of years. So, a lot of the movies and shows are getting older, but uh, yeah, I just pull them off of the hard drive, store them locally on the device, and just use it like an old school VCR yeah. that I can carry around. It's this thin. <laughs> so I, I mean, I do watch a lot on my iPad Mini. It's just so right. convenient, right? I mean, even if I were sitting in here, I mean, I've got my Mac, I've got three monitors. I absolutely could throw up whatever I wanted on one of these three monitors, including this 4K. Yeah portable monitor that i have but if i'm in here i'll just put something i want to watch on my ipad mini usually right. i have considered because i've got a wall up here i could put a tv on that's been on my list but again if i'm going to move then i'm not going to worry about it so yeah you um, don't have an extra device that you have to do something with now nah. so so you were just on a trip did you take anything with you to watch yeah. did you load anything on the ipad i didn't load anything down because i had you know good internet you had connection. internet access when i go yes. where i don't have internet we do now we thought we had loaded all of the kids shows onto their iPads, but they didn't get loaded correctly. So that was a challenge. Right. Yeah, and that's happened to me before too. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but yeah, I watched stuff on my iPad mini and I connected the mini up to the TV that's in the trailer to watch at least one of the shows and one of the movies I'll talk about in the post show. So, right. Okay, cool. Cool. But yeah, yeah. A few, uh, and that's pretty much it. Just those devices. I don't watch anything on the phone. I don't, I don't, that screen, even though it's a huge screen, it's a beautiful screen. I don't watch anything, including YouTube videos. So you'll send me a link or my brothers will send me a link or something. I'll, I'll click on it or I'll look at the title, but usually I'll just wait till I get to my iPad yeah. and I'll look at it on the iPad or on, on one of the uh, screens here in the home. Yeah. I mean, every once in a while I'll do some stuff on my phone just because the screen is so good especially when i have my headphones and and i mean yeah. this macbook that i have the screen is amazing i've you know tested it a little bit but yeah. i just when i'm working i'm working and again this is a tool for me right yeah. so 